Kids are always dolls and thanks for joining us. Today we share with you how to make your dolls a camper trailer inspired by American Girl's upcoming spring release. This cute and compact camper has everything they need when out and about exploring. Lift up the boot to reveal a kitchenette area with lots and lots of space to store food items and camping utensils. Open the cabin door to find a cosy space with sofa seat that has a pull-out platform bed and convenient fold-out table inside. And best of all, our camper is made from basic supplies you can source easily or may already have at home. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. Okay, since this is one of our bigger crafts, let's get making! For the majority of the camper project, we used cardboard packing boxes. To draw the iconic teardrop camper shape, lay your box out flat to mark the dimensions for the side walls. Using an oval laundry basket, trace the arch to get the rounded top of the camper, then reposition to achieve the curvier front and tapered back end. To position the camper door, draw a horizontal line 5cm up from the bottom edge. Along this line, make tick marks at 5 and 24 centimetres. Now draw two vertical lines. Note they are different heights. Use your laundry basket once again to trace a matching curve for the top arch of the camper door. Around the door, add a 1 centimetre border. Then sketch in the window, allowing a 1 centimetre border here too. Beside the door, add the circular window. Remove your door and window, then trace and cut this shape from two cardboard panels. We will call these pieces Sidewall A. Trace and cut the circular window from two more cardboard panels. We will call these pieces Sidewall B. Select an A and B panel and paint cream for the inside of the camper. Your other set of panels will be the external walls and first require an undercoat of white paint. To match the star details seen on AG's camper, cut and adhere masks from low tack paper. We are now ready to paint the external walls a light apricot peach colour. Once the paint is dry, peel off the masks to reveal the white stars underneath. Now flip over the panel and put double sided tape around the window opening. For faux glass, we are recycling plastic packaging. Place it over the adhesive, then cover just the cardboard with liquid glue to affix the matching internal wall. Repeat these steps for your second set of wall pieces. Next, glue frames around the window. They are made from paperboard that is painted silver. We also traced, cut and painted a frame for the door. Take your two door cutouts and give them an undercoat of white paint. Remove the window areas, then paint them a deeper peach shade. Again, add silver frames around the window. On the inside door panel, we made holes in the cardboard to thread a thick ribbon, sticking it down on the wrong side with tape. Now we have a loop to hold our doll torch. Glue your door cutouts together. For a handle, adhere a pen cap painted silver just below the window. To attach the door to the camper, we made hinges from a barbecue skewer and a bamboo straw. Cut the skewer to 28 centimeters, then divide the straw into three segments two small and one longer centerpiece. Now slide the straws onto the skewer. On the shorter side of the door frame, cut notches from the cardboard to match the placement of the straw segments. Put lines of hot glue on the two protruding tab areas to adhere only the exposed skewer. Next, put lines of hot glue on the three straw segments to connect the camper door. Hold the door very still while the hot glue dries. Then test out to ensure your hinges swing open and shut. From another cardboard box, cut four large rectangles for the camper floor. Stack and glue two together and paint black for the subfloor. Join the other two rectangles, then trim about one centimeter off from each long side. Paint this piece cream. Affix the floor to the subfloor as seen on screen. Following this, Glue sidewall B into the groove. Now measure in 18 centimeters from the back of the camper to position the dividing wall. Like the sidewalls, it is two layers of cardboard thick. Using our doll for size reference, note the height of the camper seat. Cut three L-shaped pieces that curve to match the slope of the camper wall. 
you will also need to cut the seat, backrest and top section. Assemble and hot glue to make a basic sofa. If you'd like to add a sofa bed, there is an extra 16 centimeters available under the seat. Note, the platform is made from two rectangles since there is an L-shaped support leg already glued to the center of the seat. Before affixing the sofa into the camper, paint it light blue to match AG's version. For a no-so mattress, check out our DIY Surf Bus video. Link and specific timestamp will be in the description box. Okay, let's craft the kitchenette area. From more cardboard, sketch out the sink and cupboard areas. Cut away the shelf spaces, leaving you with just the frame. From cardboard, build in the shelves. Ours are 15 centimeters deep and stacked three layers of cardboard thick for a strong unit. The countertop is two rectangles of cardboard stacked and glued together. For the sink, we recycled an empty cotton tip container. It is the right size and depth and already has a lid. Trace the box on the left side of the counter, then cut it out. Paint your countertop light blue, the unit cream, and the sink silver. We watched Totally Rudy's pop-up camper unboxing video for inspiration to make a retractable sink faucet. With all the parts ready, glue the unit, countertop, and sink into the back of the camper. Here we took the fold-out table from our previous Mary Ellen's Airstream Travel Trailer DIY and glued it to the wall with strong double-sided tape. Click the card top right or check out our description box for the video link. Now the inside elements are complete, attach side wall A, gluing it into the groove in the base piece. We used white poster board for the camper roof, layering our panels two sheets thick for strength. Paint the underside cream and the outside peach. On your first panel, mark then cut a sun window that aligns with the top of the camper seat inside. Adhere the poster board to the top edge of your side walls, pressing firmly so the paper follows the curved shape. On the second panel, cut the left and right border of the boot door, then glue just the tab sections to the edge of your camper walls. To mimic metal protector bands, add thin strips of poster board painted silver. Now remove the boot door. At the bottom, adhere a wide paperboard strip for trim, red buttons for the tail lights and a license plate. To hold our boot door open, we need to make brackets. From cardboard, cut, stack and glue five quarter circles. Next, cut a segment of jumbo straw for the hinge and slot it into the corresponding holes in the bracket pieces. Make a second and paint them the same colour as the camper. Hot glue a small button over the straw to stop the bracket twisting off. From cardboard, cut a U-shaped arm piece. This will support the boot door. Attach the brackets to the end and paint to match. Following this, make holes in the camper walls and secure the long end of your straw into the hole with hot glue. Check that the arm lifts up and down smoothly before gluing your boot door panel to just this section. Awesome, that's the trickiest part over. Finally, let's make the camper wheels. Take the cardboard cutouts from the windows we made earlier trace and cut more to make a thick stack. For a neater finish, cover the exposed cardboard edge with tape, then paint your wheels black. Add extra details from paperboard, such as the hubcap and wheel arch. To stabilize the wheels, adhere two large glue stick caps, painted black, on the underside of the base piece. Then mount a wheel to each side wall, effectively lifting the camper off the ground. The roof vent is made from recycled plastic containers, hot glued together and painted white. Fantastic! Our DIY camper is complete. It looks amazing and has all the features necessary for the dolls to enjoy their outdoor travels. And who would have guessed it was all made from cardboard, paint and glue? Thanks for spending your time with us today and we'll see you soon for more miniature crafting fun!